Hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. Today, I want to talk to you about how I can take things that I am reading and learning, simplify them <laughs> in the, the most streamlined way, taking out the ads and uh, interruptions, and putting them in a product called Insta Paper. So stay with me today and I'll show you how to do that. Well, hi everyone. I wanted to talk to you really quickly about this great app that I discovered within the last few months. It's called Instapaper and I will leave a link to it in the description below. It is free. There is a paid version if you would like to use more of the features that it has. But today I just want to talk to you about the free version. Um, what I'm doing today is I am using my iPad. Um, it also works on your phone or your computer, whatever you happen to use the most. But I wanted to do it on my iPad today because um, this is how I use it in my life. Um, and I'm using my phone to record this video, so I can't really show you on my phone. But anyway, what I do is, you know how we all get those feeds. Uh, I happen to be in my Google feed right now. And as you're scrolling through, let's say you have a few minutes while you're, you know, waiting at the doctor's office or waiting to pick your child up, or you just want some chill time after dinner, uh, you know, when you're doing a little reading before you go to bed. So you're scrolling through your feed like I'm doing now and you run across an article that you think, well, that looks interesting. How to survive a heart attack. That looks interesting. Always good to know. So I'm going to click on that. And when the article comes up, you can see uh, on the screen here that this article has some pretty good information talks about, you know, the Centers for Disease Control, uh, the risk of heart attack, all of that kind of stuff. But you also see other things popping up on the screen. There are ads, there are videos running. Uh, then placed throughout the article, there are other advertisements that you see here on the screen. Okay. All of that can be very distracting when you are trying to read something. Okay. So what Instapaper does is it strips out all of these ads and gives you a very streamlined, clean way of reading an article. Okay. All right. So what you do is if you find an article that you like, you come up here to the top to this little, uh, you know, little box with the arrow shooting out of it. Uh, that's your send arrow or your send box. So I'm going to click that. And that's going to come up and ask me who I want to send it to or where I want to send it to. I'm going to scroll over and hit my three little dots for more options. And down here at the bottom, I have Instapaper. Okay. Instapaper comes up. It says that that article has been saved to Instapaper. Okay. Now I want to jump over to Instapaper and show you what it looks like compared to what it looks like here on this screen with all of the ads and the videos and that kind of thing. So here I have Instapaper. And you can see that I have stored quite a few things in Instapaper. It is now updating and has come up with the article, How to Survive the Heart Attack in Five Easy Tips. All right. From here, you can see the links are still there. All of the information is there. Call 911, that's the same. The photographs are there, uh, all of that stuff. But all of the advertisements have been stripped away. All of the little running videos have been stripped away. And I have a much cleaner uh, article that I can read. Let me show you an article that I saved some information in which will save us some time. If you come down here to the benefits of keeping a work journal, you see that I have two notes that I've taken in that one. Let's look at that article. The highlighted parts that you see here are the notes that I took. 
So there is one note. There is a second note. And then down here at the bottom, it says share your notes. Okay. If I click share my notes, you see that there are three choices that come up. I can share it in plain text. I can share it in HTML or I can share it in Markdown. Now, if I say, let's share it in plain text, again, it's going to ask me, where do you want to share it? Well, where do I store everything? In OneNote, of course. So I'm going to click OneNote here, but you see that there are other options there. You could send it to someone in an email or a message. You could post it on Facebook if you wanted to. There are all kinds of ways that you could share this information. But because I use OneNote, I'm going to click OneNote. And when it comes up in OneNote, I can go up here to my location. And let's say I'm doing some research. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put it in my October file where I'm working right now. And it will come up and show me um, the notes that I have saved. So I'm going to hit the Send button. And it's gone. Now let's jump over to OneNote. And I could go to my 2022 life planner. And there's the page, the benefits of keeping a work journal. Okay. There are the notes that I printed out or that I highlighted uh, in the article that I wanted to read. I can come up here now uh, and give it a title work journal so that I have that information. And you also see here that the link for the original work is listed right there. I can open that if I want, and that will actually take me back to the very original blog post where this information came from. So you can see there again, how the Instapaper has streamlined this blog post, has taken out all of the extra things and just really trim down the article into exactly, uh, you know, an easier way to read it. Okay. All right. So there in review, you have, uh, this wonderful product called Instapaper that allows you to take an article, streamline it, cut out all of the ads and all of the, you know, distractions that may be there and really clean it up, put it in Instapaper so that when you have more time, you can go back and read it at your leisure and you won't lose that article. It also saves the, saves the link for you. Then you can make notes or highlight or do whatever you would like to do and store it in your trusted source. Remember my favorite place to store things is OneNote. Um, and it really is just very handy and helpful. And I just think it is great. If you're somebody who loves to share uh, newspaper articles and that kind of thing, rather than just copying the link, which copies all of the distractions that goes with it, putting it in Instapaper and sharing it from there. That's the way to go for me. Anyway, I hope you found uh, something useful or helpful in this video. If you have, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And hit the subscribe button if you'd like to learn more about being organized and simplifying your life and streamlining your life to get more things done. That's what we try to do around here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can turn on that notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, which is usually every Friday with some quick tip Tuesdays thrown in there as well. Anyway, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I happen to use OneNote. Okay, until next time. Okay, bye.